Hello and uh, welcome once again to my uh, channel Active Senior Life. In this episode, uh, I am not outdoors. I'm in our kitchen and I'm making myself some uh, soup. You can literally make soup from uh, anything that you've got in your fridge. So uh, let me show you what I've done. Uh, what is the kind of uh, stuff I've put in. There were pieces of vegetables which I found lying around in the fridge. Uh, they had been partly used. So I uh, sliced them up and uh, threw them into the pressure cooker. So there's a part of a beetroot, uh, a little bit of a cabbage. There was a celery stick, a bell pepper. There was some uh, half carrots and uh, there was a red onion, uh, part of it. So I threw in uh, some uh, red lentil as well, added some salt and pepper and uh, just hope for the best. And if you're wondering why I am showing you a sort of uh, cooking video, uh, well the fact is uh, I rarely cook. I only cook maybe once a year when my wife uh, Margaret is away on holidays. So at the moment she's uh, away and uh, I have to look after myself. Because she's an excellent cook, I hardly ever have to bother with uh, what, uh, is there something to eat? Uh, she uh, She's a wonderful cook and she is uh, great at uh, making sure that uh, my nutritional needs are looked after. And uh, <laughs> so whenever she's away, it's the only time I actually come into the kitchen other than making the occasional cup of chai which is uh, as all my friends know my favorite uh, beverage my beverage of choice so now she's away for a few weeks and I will be a little busier in the kitchen in her absence of course if I'm in any doubt I always kind of text her and uh, find out uh, what's the best way to do something but otherwise, yeah, I, I think I'm pretty uh, capable of looking after myself. Uh, and uh, that also should be part of a senior's, you know, bag of tricks. Uh, you should be able to uh, not kind of starve when your spouse is away. Or you don't have uh, the opportunity to go out and buy food. It's always a great idea not to buy food if you can uh, make some food at home because then you have uh, control over what you eat. You have control over the spice levels, uh, you know. Uh, you make sure that you're eating healthy as well. Right, so we'll get back uh, to the soup after it has been on the stove for some time. Let it, uh, let the pressure cooker come to the boil. After a few minutes, you can see that uh, the whole pot the whole pressure cooker, all the mixture of the vegetables and uh, the dal or the red lentil that I put inside is uh, bubbling away and at this point I shall put the cover on for the pressure So now the, the pressure cooker's cover is on and you can see the steam uh, billowing out of this uh, the spout there and uh, this is the appropriate time to actually put in uh, the vent weight so uh, that's the vent weight and uh, put it in there and that's how the pressure inside the cooker will start building up and uh, you know the intense heat which uh, the pressure and uh, boiling water inside this uh, pressure cooker they will almost pulverize the vegetables in a couple of minutes you can uh, hear the pressure building up inside the cooker and uh, when the pressure obviously gets up to a certain point uh, the pressure cooker is designed to release that pressure. Well, more than 15 minutes have passed by and uh, 
the cooker has been hissing away so now I'm going to shut off the stove and let it cook for again uh, within the cooker for some more time off to the stove so I'm going to go away now for a walk uh, leave the house for some time since the stove is off and when I come back uh, you know in about half an hour I will check uh, the state of uh, the contents inside the pressure cooker hello again i'm back from my walk and now i'm going to check uh, the state of the soup i shall open the cover of the pressure cooker and see what's going on there take the vent weight off there is no pressure release there and press the handle and down it goes that I shall strain all the vegetables and the soup should be ready for me by then. So now that it has boiled for some time, I'm going to put the stove off. This is what the final product looks like. me some oh. ah, not bad pretty good I think the salt and the pepper and the seasoning came off uh, pretty good I'm happy with it so this will be my uh, daytime soup for tomorrow tomorrow is a working day and I'm pretty happy I made it <laughs> 